Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Nice. Welcome, Ligia Bonilla, Hector, Crisia, Diana, Juan Luis, Giovanni. We have a lot of people today. It's nice seeing you again. Hey, Guadalupe, there you are. Guys, if you can, please turn the turn the cameras on. I would like to see everyone, please. Turn the cameras on as we'll be participating and mute the microphones, all right? And then I ask you to read something or we're interacting. Otherwise, let's mute the microphone to avoid background, all right? Okay. Great, let's get started. Have you taken a look at the platform yet? No? Yes. The past. The topic. Uh, uh -huh. What is the topic? The past? The oh, you did. Past, was, and were. Okay, great. We're going to work with that. So let me share my screen with you. Before we start, does anybody have any questions to ask me? Mm. Are you still confused yes. on something? <laughs> what is it? No, yes. Uh, in this level, only in English, uh, all, all platform. It's okay. If I, if I read an object, object, only in English. Ah, so the difference is that in the platform you don't have anything else in Spanish. That's what you're saying. Yes. Okay. And do you have a question about that? It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you have to get used to it. Now you will adapt. You will see. Okay. So guys, turn the cameras on. Everyone, please. I would like to see you, meet you. Turn the cameras on. And the microphones, let's mute them. Okay, if you don't have a camera, it's all right. Like, let me see. Rene, I know <laughs> you don't have a camera. <laughs> it's happened for the last two very modules. <laughs> oh, hopefully. All right, and turn the microphones off. Okay, let's get started. Um, Guadalupe, since you were talking about this, can you read the objective, please? I cannot hear her. All right, someone else. I'll have Diana participate. Uh, sorry, I have a question. Tell me. Hello. Yeah, uh, tell me. What's your name? Good evening. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Uh, okay. Good evening. Uh, excuse me. What's your name? My name is Jocelyn Navas. Hola. Hello. Yeah, I hear you. Jocelyn, thank you. All right. Thank you. Let me introduce myself. How uh, about we do that I, before I, we start? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because we have a lot of new people. So that's my name, Jocelyn Navas. I will be with you for the current module. Hopefully the next one as well. Okay, I currently live in Argentina. I study and work here, but I also work for Inglés Comparativo. And regarding the online classes, I've had, this is the third group that I have, or the third time that I have this group actually. So it's been two months already, <laughs> and it has been a nice experience oh. sharing. Yeah. I'm back. Hello. I will change my Wi-Fi connection. Give me one second.
Hi, I'm back. Oh. Sorry about that. No, I, okay. I was connected to the Wi-Fi, but I usually use my data. So now, now we're good. All right. Okay. So I uh, had said. Excuse me, excuse me, Jocelyn. I have another question. Go ahead. Okay. At the time of the of the any period, what time is? I I I have a. Uh, different uh, lessons and I don't know what, no sé cómo funciona the leather is for, is very small for, for example the intermediate um, model one have five sections in what time we need finish that Oh, well, we, we're going to take classes for one month, so they are four weeks. Five sections, you should be working like one lesson and a quarter each week. So you need to have finished it in a month. In a month, the five... Teacher Jocelyn. The five sections. Teacher yes. Jocelyn. Go ahead. The, the box is... A box is very small. Okay. What box? The, the letters that they say this. He oh, said no. the, the letters. letters. Okay. Um, the letters is very small. In, in, you... And I can respond the 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 the, the business in, in, in any time. Yes, you can access the platform anytime. I will try to zoom this a little yeah, bit. And respond to the quizzes. Exactly. Okay. You need to be working Thank on you. that. You're welcome. My pleasure. All right, everybody, mute the microphones, please. Okay. It's too noisy right now. Okay, Diana, can you read the objective, please? Uh, by the end of this class, you will be able to talk about your past using was, were, and various regular and irregular verbs. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past tense. This conversational English lesson will help you discuss your background in greater detail and get. Okay, thank you very much. So we're going to be learning about the past. If we're going to watch a video, all right? So let's pay attention to that. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the past using regular and irregular verbs. Additionally, you'll be able to ask and answer questions in the past. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I was born in Korea. I grew up in the United States. I moved here 10 years ago. I didn't speak English back then. Let me get started by presenting the structure. In our previous class, we discuss how to make positive and negative statements using the verb to be in the past. So we talked about the left side of this chart, as you can see there. And we also talked about making yes and no questions in the past. In today's lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of this whole thing together. And we're going to try to use both ways of talking about the past with the verb to be and with other verbs, such as move. And so we're going to focus on creating statements, either positive or negative, as you can see there. Uh, that's the one that I had given earlier. I moved here 10 years ago. And we're also going to talk about making negative statements in the past, such as I didn't speak English then. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to make questions in the past. And the whole goal here is to be able to use both ways of talking about the past, either 
with the verb to be as you can see is slightly different and also using the auxiliary did let me get started by making sense of the statements that we see towards the right side of this chart so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formula real fast in order for us to make sentences in the past particularly positive sentences in the past we're going to have a subject and then that is going to be followed by a verb the verb in its past form and then that is going to be followed by a complement. So if I write down the example that we see on the very top, um, which says, I moved here 10 years ago. Well, we can clearly see the subject is I. I'm going to go ahead and try to color that in green. Then we can see that the verb is moved. Notice that I have to change that to the past. For most verbs, we will simply add ed. That's what we call regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, um, then for those, you simply have to remember what they are. So for example, we have the verb teach, and then the past of that verb is taught. But I'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs in a different class. I also want to write down another quick example here. So I'm going to say I. took English classes for a year and then once again what I want you to notice is what happens at the bottom I want you to notice that we have a subject and I color that in green and then we have some sort of verb and then that is going to be colored in red and then the complement um, as you can see English classes for a year Let me talk about making negative statements in the past now. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula. The only difference that you're going to see from a positive statement to a negative statement is that we're going to have an auxiliary. That auxiliary is didn't. Um, so um, I and then this follows didn't. Okay. And then this follows the verb and then whatever complement. I didn't speak English and I'm going to say 10 years ago. So we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and play with the colors for a little bit. This follows didn't. And then it's going to follow the verb. Now, important here, I want you to notice that in this case, this verb does not change to the past. Okay? So the verb in the negative statements will remain in the present tense. It will not change to the past. That's very important. And that's because this auxiliary verb causes this verb to not change to the past. I didn't speak English 10 years ago. The last thing that I want to talk about in this class is how to form questions in the past. And particularly, we're going to focus on forming questions using did. Let's try to make sense of that first question that you see there. When did you move to Los Angeles? Well, first of all, in order to form questions, sometimes we're going to have WH questions and sometimes we're going to have yes and no questions. And I'll explain the quick difference in a second. Whenever we have a WH question, I'm going to start with that first one there. What we do is we have a WH word, such as in this case is when. This follows the auxiliary did. This will follow a subject, and this follows the verb in the present. The verb does not change to the past. When did you move to Los Angeles? So again, very important. We're going to have some sort of WH word that follows auxiliary did, and then it's going to follow the subject. After that, you'll see the verb in its present form. It does not change to the past. And finally, we'll include some sort of complement. And we follow the same pattern in the second question that you see there. With the only difference now is that we don't have a WH verb, and that's because this is a yes or no question. So the yes or no question starts with did you, and the verb in its present form, take. The complement is English classes in Argentina. There we go. It all depends on what kind of question you have. So WH words, we mentioned that we want to elicit information from the person. 
in a yes or no question, we simply want to receive a response such as uh, yes or no. So the example on how to answer a yes or no question, then you'll see it there. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. That's how you create a short response for that kind of question. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer some questions, which I will post in one moment. But before that, what I would like for you to understand is that we can form the past tense by either using was or where, or by using other verbs that are not the verb to be. So whenever you are going to use another verb that is not the verb to be, then we're going to think about the structure towards the right. It's important not to get confused, and so therefore, I would like for you to answer the following questions. As you can see, sometimes I will use did, and sometimes I will use the verb to be. And the reason that I use did in my questions is because I'm using another verb that is not the verb to be. So that's what I want you to notice. Usually videos are not that long, all right? But in this case it was, since you're supposed to know everything about the past already, we're simply going to review it and practice it, okay? That's the reason why it is this long, but it's not usually the case. And before I forget to answer your question, we it's not necessary for you to work on the platform that much unless you miss class because we're supposed to work on the platform while being in class. And that's what I usually do. Like I give you time to do the exercises. We watch the videos from the platform. So the last day we do the, the exam, there is no need for you to work on it unless you want to review it. But if you are absent to any of the classes or from any of the classes, then you need to, you need to complete it on your own. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Rene. I hadn't seen you, Anna, Roxana, Rina. Good to see you again. Hello, yeah, I'm happy to see you again Hello, as well. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice seeing you all. Okay. The, you know what time it is, right? Tell me. Name? Jocelyn Navas. You can call me Teacher Jocelyn. All right. Nice to meet you, Teacher. Nice meeting you. Thank you. So kind of you. Wilbur, nice to see you again as well. I hadn't greeted you. Nice to see you. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what time it is, right? Time to practice. Yes. Time to practice. So okay, we're, going let's to, go. <laughs> we're going to do that in groups right now. Uh, mute the microphones, please. Everybody. Okay. So guys, the microphone. I don't know the option to mute everyone. So please help me. It's noisy. Okay. So since we're going to practice all together right now, uh, I would ask you to please turn the cameras on unless you have no issue, um, unless you have an issue with it, like you don't have a camera or something's going on. But otherwise, I want you to meet me. I want to meet you. I want you to interact with your classmates because we're going to do this for the, the, the month, for the entire month. So please turn the cameras on while practicing, all right? Uh, we're going to... I'm going to make groups right now. I sent something to the WhatsApp group. Did everybody see that? I hope you what did. Is your, what, is, what is your question? No, I'm saying that I sent an image to the WhatsApp group. Yes. So please open the image and we're going to discuss those questions. So try to use the correct pronunciation of the past, right? Any questions in the correct structure? So apply everything. And if you see that your classmate is making mistakes either in the pronunciation or the grammar or something, help them and correct them because I will be monitoring you as much as I can. But if I'm not there, please help your classmates. All right. Questions? Ready? The first, que la, the first lection is about... Fast, simple. Yes. Um, the bear regular and irregular. 
Exactly. No, what I'm saying is I sent an image to the WhatsApp group, um, so you're going to discuss those questions and practice right now. Okay, so accept the invitation, everyone, please. And use. Sorry, teacher. Can you send the, email, the, the picture again, please? Sure. I'll I right wasn't now. in the group. Oh, really? Okay. okay I'll do it right now. Give me one second. I was study today this lesson. Yes, that's awesome. So we're going to put it into practice right now. Thank you. Accept the invitation, uh, Giovanni. Monica, accept the invitation that I sent. Wilson, Monica, Oscar, accept the invitation, please. Oscar, can you accept the invitation, please? I invited you to the meeting room, so. Selena, did you have problems? Hi, Selena. Hi, everybody. Hi, did you have problems receiving the invitation? Yes, this is my first, this is my first lesson and I don't know more about the invitation. Oh, it, right, because I don't know why. Everybody else received it. You didn't receive something that says join. The host has invited you to join the meeting room. Okay, okay. And you, you're supposed to click on accept invitation. Did you receive that message or you didn't? No. No, I don't have a message. No. So as soon as I do it, you receive it. It's immediate. Maybe, maybe that was long ago. So we're going to do this. The, the message is in my, or where? No, it, it pops out immediately when I send it, but I sent it when I said it long ago. So what we're going okay. to do, yes, be, be watchful when I say join the groups or accept okay. the invitation, check it immediately and tell me if you have a problem, all right? Let me see if okay. I can still have you join, hold on. If not, you're gonna practice here, but this is the main session, this is not the, the, the group. Hold on. Okay. Give me one second. Mm, hold on. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. About? Uh, me desconecté sin querer, no sé cómo. <laughs> okay, well, Selena, okay, check and see if you can join right now. Did you get a message? Where is the message in this? It pops out. No. 
Celina, Celina Benitez. Celina. Nothing, okay. Hold on, I'm going to try. If not... No. Not before. Teacher, what is you what is the form more easy of learn bare irregular? Um we hold on. I don't know what happened. Can you see I've received the message? So hold on, I'm trying to fix something right now. We're having a problem, okay? Because you're supposed to be in, in a small group right now, not here. So I'm trying to correct that mistake. Give me one second. Okay. What's up, teacher? You cannot hear me? Yes. Wilson, try to see if you've received the message, okay? Hold on, I'll send you to room two. Yes. Wilson, did you get a message? Okay, no, lo que sucede es que deberíamos estar en grupo en este momento practicando. Ustedes, por alguna razón, no están en los grupos. Están grupos de tres personas practicando. Pero él está en una pestaña que dice breakout. Rooms. Sí, pero cuando yo envío la invitación aparece un mensaje emergente que dice unirse o aceptar la invitación. A mí sí me aparece, pero tengo que darle primero breakout room. Entonces me manda como a otro salón. Sí, acéptelo porque, porque debería estar practicando con su grupo. Ok, perfecto. Gracias. Y todos, ok, todos ustedes recibieron ese mensaje, tendrían que aceptarlo y estar practicando con su grupo y yo monitoreando cada grupo, pero como estoy intentando mandarlos a ustedes. Bueno, bueno ya. Sí, ya, a mí me, ya me parecía nada. Y... Sí, porque te, estaban todos en esta sección, pero ya hay personas en su grupo. Ana, Gabriela y Crisia recibieron el mensaje. Sí, pero yo me salí porque como no había nadie, me podría reenviar la invitación, por favor. Mm, déjeme ver. Crisia. Sí, se lo voy a enviar otra vez. Ahí está. Se la voy a enviar otra vez, Ana, Girón, Gabriela, porque... No me aparece en acá. Aún no recibo la invitación. Probemos. Ya se la envié. Y a Gabriela ahora. También a Gabriela. ¿La recibieron? Uh, I don't have to turn the question in the moment, no. I don't think so. Uh, okay, I'm I'm afraid that, like because I have to do the in this moment and I can. Uh, are you are you yeah. practicing? Are you practicing the questions that I sent to WhatsApp? Uh, not really, teacher. Oscar. Because, uh, uh -huh. he can he couldn't get into the group in WhatsApp. Okay, but you can ask the questions and he will answer and you will participate. You can read the questions for him. Okay. 
Yeah, let's start discussing. We're talking about uh, what we had for lunch yesterday. Oh. Yes, okay. I sent some questions to the WhatsApp group. I sent the image. Uh, All right, I will send it again, but we're discussing those questions. So you ask the question and you answer it to practice the past. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. Right. Let's practice. Come on. Question. Um, I don't know what I sending. <laughs> okay, are you guys practicing? I sent it to the group, but you can read the questions, Guadalupe, for them and ask them. Okay. <laughs> Hold hey, on, yeah. let, me, let me ask them. Hector, you got the you got the image on WhatsApp? Uh, no, I don't. Only me, Chef. And, and I sent Hector, but um, probably we have a, a in internet. Not really. What about you, Roxana? Yes. Ahorita. Uh, oh, no. Okay, let's start speaking, please. It's already... Uh, it's late. Sorry. Uh, uh, you check my number phone uh, seven six eight two uh, we we will take care of that later hector all right but right now, let's practice speaking, okay? Roxana, read the first question, and then uh, Guadalupe, question number two, and you're gonna discuss, okay? Um, you two took, took a time, didn't take a time. Okay, so you're I know, let's say yes, but it's my first time too, and I studied English um, 15 years ago. Oh, okay. Are you and practicing then, all the questions that I sent? Yes. We the we talk the about we talk about um, the last holiday. Oh, okay. Where we were, were in the last holiday, and we're talking about the lunch yesterday. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So everybody's participating. Um. Yes. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> right, Crisia and Anna, but ask questions and say, Crisia, what did you do? And take turns, all right? Next time I'm going to make smaller groups, but we had issues tonight. Next time it's going to be three people, but Crisia and Anna, you have to discuss as well, all right? Continue. Okay. Okay. And then another question. What you did before? What did you do? Uh, is very is very. Um, what te podría decir? Agitada. La vida es muy agitada y. Uh -huh. Ajá. Todo eso it, no me gusta. It is exhausting. Sí, teacher. It's exhausting. Exhausting. Okay. Yeah. Or, or Thank it, you, it teacher. Is, it is hectic, Thank you, you want to say? 
Hola. Hello. It's hectic. You want to say? Like. No, oh, hectic. Hectic. Mm -hmm. What is hectic? You were saying agitado, so I'm saying say it was hectic there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Very <laughs> good. So thank you. What question are you talking about? What question? Uh, um, when no, where do you grow up? This is the question, and he responded me, um, I grew up in Cincinnati City, and he questioned me, uh, he asked where me? do you, uh -huh. he asked me, uh, where do you grow up, and I res respond, he, um, I grew up in San Salvador. I grew up. I grew up in San Salvador. Uh -huh. I grew up in San Salvador. Grew up. I exactly. grew up. Use the, the regular verbs. Okay. Continue. I'm going to check other students. It's Wiki. Uh -huh. the... Wiki. Sorry. The... No, something. go back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What you did last week. Go back. Go back. Okay, Selena and Gabriel are participating as well. Okay. Are they participating? Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. Ask awesome. You. Continue. Bye. Okay, the, uh, go back to a space, Carolina. Go back. Go back. Ah? Uh -huh. What? Go back. Back is back. Uh huh. Go back. Go back. It's something interesting you did last week. Mm, ok. Ajá. Estamos pues, en la misma ¿cómo? pregunta, ¿verdad? What did you last weekend? Eh, ok. En the last time. <laughs> Have you finished practicing? Yes, we finished. Awesome. finished. All right. Yeah, people were having a lot of problems adapting right now, so. It was hectic, but we're here. Okay. Okay, no problem. I don't know why it grouped you that you know one another already. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> What's the <And> destiny? <laughs> it was faith and destiny. The same thing happened with the other group. Irene and Carolina and Roxana are in the same group. I don't know why. <laughs> we're going to go back right now. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, I guess everybody's back. We're back. <laughs> Did you practice? Hello, teacher. Yes. You practiced? Okay, great. Yes. So Hold on, guys. I'm going to make a, a Spanish parenthesis, right? Give me, give me some time. Tres cosas importantes, ¿ok? Lo que estamos haciendo en la plataforma es, uno, mayormente practicar speaking, porque tienen quizá 30 minutos para hablar. No corridos, no, no seguidos, pero... Eh, mute the microphone, please. <laughs> Pobre perro, lo pateaba. Mute the microphones. <ríe> ok. El, el teléfono. El, Alguien le puso el pie a su perro. Ajá, mute. El, porque no sé, ya voy a buscar la opción para ponerle mute a todos, porque de, si no estamos hablando hay que ponerle mute, hay mucho ruido. Eso es una cosa importante. Si no estamos hablando, hay que tener el, el, el micrófono apagado, por favor, porque si no ya no me escucha nadie. Número dos, las cámaras, si no tienen ningún problema, encendidas. Porque necesito que se conozcan, necesito identificarlos y decir, bueno, hoy Diana no, vi, no estuvo en clase, por ejemplo. Y lo que yo hago personalmente no es una práctica común, pero lo que yo hago es, le escribo a esa persona y le pregunto qué le pasó, por qué no asistió y así estoy, ¿verdad? Pendiente de, 
de que estén en su clase para también mantener el grupo y que ustedes puedan seguir desde acá hasta avanzado. Así que me gusta saber sus caras y decir, bueno, hoy me hace falta una carita por aquí, ¿verdad? Y que ustedes se conozcan y, y lo más importante, ver que estén pronunciando bien a veces, porque les doy, suelo darles tips de pronunciación y de cómo deben gesticular, así que eso es importante. El micrófono, la cámara, otra es que en lo personal me gusta mucho que practiquen, si se han fijado los que han estado conmigo, entonces lo que hago es enviar imágenes casi siempre al WhatsApp, tienen que estar pendientes de su WhatsApp en ese momento porque esas son las preguntas que vamos a estar discutiendo, son cosas que no están en la plataforma, por lo tanto tienen que, que revisar su WhatsApp y enfocarse en, en discutir eso. Oscar quería decir algo, ¿no? Levantó la mano. Eh, sí. Dígame. Sí, aprovechando el paréntesis. Está hablando en español. Lo que sucede es de que al parecer no, no confirmé o algo mi, mi número de teléfono, entonces las imágenes que, que mandó al grupo no las recibí, obviamente. Entonces, ¿cómo podría ser? Eso hay que hablarlo con, con el encargado, que es Jonathan, creo que es quien está coordinando, o Marvin, quien está coordinando lo... Perdón, este paréntesis es importante y quizá va a ser el único, ¿ok? Así que, para que no nos vuelvan a pasar las cosas que nos sucedieron hoy. Pincho, yo tengo una sugerencia. Dígame. Eh, yo creo que también todos deberíamos de usar audífonos. Eh, eh, eso evitaría menos este, el ruido, igual no, en no. las conversaciones, no. en las prácticas. Ah, tiene razón. Sí, por ejemplo, algunos ahorita tenían encendido el micrófono no y se escuchaba. No todos usamos audífonos, exactamente. exactamente. Ah, tiene pero, razón. Ya a ver, dígame. Eh, teacher, pero el problema no es el audífono, el problema es el ruido interior, porque tengo aquí. Entonces, tenemos que estar en un lugar cerrado, en un lugar solos, sin que esté el perro cerca, porque si no, eso es lo que provoca el ruido. Sí, porque también es cierto lo que dice Wilber, que en las prácticas afecta. Y, y no sé, se pone tenso el compañero porque está oyendo el perro, el bebé llorar. A la medida posible hay que alejarse un poco del ruido y también tener headsets o earphones para las prácticas. O y, cascos, como dicen los españoles. <ríe> y en el momento en el que no estén hablando, tener el, el micrófono apagado. Solo cuando sea su turno, encenderlo. Incluso en la conversación que tengan grupal. Ok. Y la otra es lo que les decía, que la plataforma la vamos a estar trabajando en clase, entonces ya todos tendrían que haber verificado que el acceso esté correcto. Y cuando yo diga, vamos a la sección 4, 2, trabajemos todos juntos o en parejas o en grupos, todos ya deberían estar en la plataforma antes de ingresar a la clase. O sea, se conectan y a la vez entran a la plataforma porque yo noté que algunos en módulos anteriores solo ponían atención y... El último día de clases tenían acumulada toda la plataforma cuando habían estado en clase. No, no era necesario que lo dejaran para el final. Entonces, lo que hacemos en clase es completar la plataforma, que es lo más, lo esencial, y eh, participar y practicar. No vamos a practicar porque el grupo es muy grande, sino que es reducido. Y si mi tiempo está bien organizado en ese momento, si no estamos teniendo problemas, yo voy a estar monitoreando y corrigiendo a los que pueda, con los que pueda trabajar. Okay. Así que asistan a clase para que tengamos esa rutina de, de, de completar la plataforma y de practicar, cosa que no van a poder hacer ustedes solos. Dígame. Lo que pasa es que en los grupos reducidos, ¿quién corrige que lo que estoy diciendo está bien o está mal? No, yo voy cambiando. <ríe> sí, yo voy cambiando y escuchando. Pero son cosas que vemos previamente y luego lo ponemos en práctica. Pero es imposible. Si somos 20 personas y los pongo a participar, Solo va a hablar unas dos líneas quizá Y Correcto. en eso se nos va la clase. Entonces tienen que, que apoyarse sí, tienen entre que ser, ustedes. Tienen que, ser, tienen que ser grupo reducido. Sí, de tres personas máximo. No, o cuatro, sí. rara vez va a ser de cuatro. Yo voy pasando por todos, escuchando. Y cuando ustedes me ven que ingresé a su grupo, ahí me pueden preguntar algo, pero esa es como la única oportunidad. Y así se ha manejado siempre y se maneja con todos los demás grupos, eso no, no sería contraproducente no hacerlo de esa forma. Ok, ¿alguna yes, otra teacher. cosa? 
Sí. Bueno, y cuando les envíe, cuando yo diga, let's accept the invitation, let's join, y let's practice, todos pendientes de ver el mensaje que dice aceptar y hacerlo en ese momento para irse, porque a veces dejan al compañero solo. Dígame. Yo lo confirmé, teacher, que me enviaron, el, el, pero a mí no me ha caído nada en WhatsApp ahorita. ¿En serio? ¿Al grupo? ¿Cómo? ¿En el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí, no me ha caído nada. Bueno, no sé, revíselo porque sí lo envié como tres veces. Ajá, porque yo le confirmé a, 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 al encargado. Sí, no. Me cayó un, ah. es, es un, una imagen que tiene un reloj con una mano. Sí, esa era la práctica. Esas son las preguntas que estaban discutiendo. Sí, pues, no llegué ahí. Me, 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 llegó tarde. Tarde. Me, habían, me habían puesto en otro grupo. ¿En serio? <risa> Pero ya lo resolvió. Eso es bueno. Bueno, digamos que esta clase fue así como de prueba de aprender cómo vamos a hacer, por favor, que nadie se frustre. Esto no es común, de hecho no me había pasado que tuviéramos tantos inconvenientes, pero sucede, tarde o temprano sucede, me imagino. Entonces, ojalá que ya mañana eh, todas las cosas corran más, no sé, sin problema. Es que estoy pensando ahorita smoothly, estoy pensando en inglés, me cuesta traducirlo. Así que mañana ojalá que no tengamos esos inconvenientes y ya podamos practicar y seguir el, el curso como, como planificado. Idealmente vamos a estar trabajando un, ¿cómo se llama esto? Una sección y un cuarto por semana. Si nos atrasamos un poco, vamos a, a acelerar después, porque esta semana probablemente nos atrasemos un poquito, quizás solo hagamos una sección. Pero siempre salimos con el tiempo, por eso no se preocupen, no me ha pasado. Siempre terminamos a tiempo. Okay, teacher. Okay. Y bueno, si pueden, porque sí, yo creo que eh, vamos a hacer un ejercicio, pero si pueden, manden un mensaje con su nombre al WhatsApp, solo, solo escriban su nombre y así yo identifico cuál es su número de teléfono, quién es usted y, y, y si lo recuerdo de la clase y así estamos en comunicación. Igual si tienen preguntas en cualquier momento me pueden escribir a mí, ¿ok? Eso, esa opción está abierta. So, let's do one more thing. Uh, ¿Preguntas? Ya yeah, no. ¿Alguien está usando ahí el, sí, yo tengo. el Dolingo? Ajá. Dígame, dígame. No, si, si nos podría confirmar el número de celular nada más, como para estar seguro que ese es el del grupo, por favor. Bueno, ahorita les, les escribo mi nombre. Teacher Jocelyn Navar. Así me guardan y cualquier cosa me preguntan. Okay. Teacher Jocelyn. Dígame. What is your number from? Eh, ya lo mandé al grupo. Escribí sí, mi nombre. El teléfono uh -huh. de WhatsApp. Ok. No more questions. Pero voy no. a solo mencionar que eh, voy a gestionar que me agreguen al grupo porque sí, tampoco estaba y no me cayó la imagen. Sí, sí. No, si, si le sucede algo así, escríbalo en el grupo porque ahí está el encargado también o escríbale directamente a él. Yo no gestiono nada de eso más que el impartir la clase y ayudarle individualmente un poco, cuando puedo, si lo necesitan, ¿verdad? Pero eso lo tienen que hablar con, con Marvin, si no me equivoco, o escríbalo en el grupo. Ok. ¿No more questions? Ok. Ok, teacher. Great, no. thank you guys. Teacher. Tell me. What time is in Argentina? Oh, it's 11:53 p.m. Oh. Wow! <laughs> I finished. Yeah, I finished at 1 a.m. Good morning, almost. <laughs> I finished at 1 a.m., but it's okay. I like it. All right, let's do the exercise. So everybody should be on the platform. Okay. 1.2. That's what we're going to do. Are you on the platform, guys? Okay. Let's do that. So everybody on the platform, section 1.2. Let's do the exercise, and with this, we'll finish tonight, all right? Okay. Number one, Anna, can you read the, the exercise, please, and the answer? Number two. No, I was asking, sorry. Okay, somebody else will do it then. Rene, read number one, the question and answer, please. Go ahead. Okay. Choose the best response to this question. Is she play soccer in high school? The answer is the number two. No, she didn't play soccer in high school. She played 
baseball or basketball. I have basketball. So number three. The second one. The second one. Okay, no. awesome. Number right. two. Yeah, let's choose that. Rina, number two. Um, when did you graduate from college? I graduated graduated from college in 2005. <laughs> I'm proud of you. That's the right pronunciation. Graduated. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Graduated. Wilmer. No, graduated. Graduated. It's like a j -j 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 sound. Graduated. 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 Okay, uh, Wilbur, next. Uh, choose the best question to match this no, just response. The, uh -huh, I, just this. Uh, I grew up in Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. um, where you play? Number three. Number three. Number three. Where do you grow up? No, that's Spanish. No, that's the no. Spanish structure. No. no. Where is this number you? one? Question past use did. Yes, guys. So it's W H auxiliary you, subject verb in the base form. So you have to respect the yes. structure. Okay, awesome. Is number two. Yes. Number Franklin. One. No, it's number one because this one. is the base number form. One. One. It's number one. Wrong. Number four, teacher. Wrong. This what is, is the wrong? base form? Because you... All right, next. It is right, guys. Okay, Franklin, number four. I began to study English two years ago. When did you begin to study English? Yes, perfect. All right, Carolina, go ahead. Okay, Irene, go ahead. Sorry, teacher. My, 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 um, go ahead, go ahead. It's okay. Number five. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a pet when you were you were a child? Uh, uh, no, I didn't. I didn't have a pet. No, yes, no. I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. Exactly, uh, this is the right one. Okay. So we're probably going to revise, we're probably going to practice the structure, guys. I see that you need to review it. So we're going to re please be in class because I'm going to try to explain what it is tomorrow briefly. Okay. Okay. But these are the right answers. So everybody submit them. Yes, it says everything is correct. Okay, awesome. So did you finish this part? Yes. 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 yes? All right. Very good. Awesome. Thank you. It was a pleasure seeing you. I expect to see everyone tomorrow. Every single one of you. Gabriela, see you tomorrow. Ligia, Crisia, Roxana, Selena, Monica, Ana, Oscar, Rina, Mauricio, Héctor, Irene, René, Carolina, Guadalupe, <laughs> Irene, Franklin, Wilson, Wilbur, <laughs> so good I night to all. Tomorrow, okay? <laughs> See you. I'll see you tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Bye. 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 Bye.